What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids, and today in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between every single flagship iPhone ranging all the way back to the original iPhone 2G all the way up to the latest iPhone 12 Pro. We're going to be doing a variety of tests including a boot up test, app launching tests, a web browsing test, and Geekbench and Intuitu benchmarks. It's definitely worth mentioning that you should take this video with somewhat of a grain of salt, as of course there's a variety of factors that contribute to how devices perform. That being said, all the devices in this video are running the latest iOS version that they are capable of running as of recording this video. Let's begin with the boot up test. Also, I apologize for the chaos of fingers and hands in this video. I did have to get some extra sets of hands to help me when recording this video. Now, I did my best throughout this video to sync everything up, so the tasks we're performing in this video are triggered simultaneously simultaneously on all these devices. And it's also worth noting that a boot test isn't representative of how a device will perform in all areas, it's just interesting to see. And as to be expected, the newer devices do start to trickle in pretty consistently, you know, one after the next, pretty close together in time, and then some of the newer, older devices trickle in. And as you're about to see here, the iPhone 2G actually beats a lot of the newer iPhones in the boot up test, as you can see, so definitely an interesting result there. And just a few seconds later, as you can see, the devices that have not yet booted up do slowly start to trickle in. The last two devices to boot being the iPhone 4S on iOS 9 and the iPhone 3G on iOS 4. And now let's get into some app launching tests. So let's start off with the camera application. And as you can see on the more recent generation iPhones, the camera application is almost open immediately. However, that being said, I was pretty impressed with every single iPhone. They all opened up the camera application in a relatively quick fashion. Next, we're going to launch up the latest version of Subway Surfers on all the devices that support the latest version of Subway Surfers being the iPhone 5 and up. And as you can see, the latest three generations being the 12 Pro, the 11 Pro, and the 10s are first, shortly followed by the 10, the 8, and the 7, and then after that by the 6 and 6s, and the last to load it was the iPhone 5 and 5s. So, as you saw, pretty much straight down the line of generations with this application. So, pretty impressive considering the age difference between these devices. Next, we're going to launch up the latest version of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on all the devices that are able to support it, being the iPhone 4s and later. And the most important thing for San Andreas is actually starting the game itself so we'll go ahead and do that simultaneously and as you can see here they're all doing it quite well of course the newest devices definitely get through that initial loading sequence the fastest but that being said the older devices definitely keep up just a little bit behind as you can see the 4s definitely being the slowest of this group as to be expected but grand theft auto san andreas is a pretty big game so pretty impressive on all of these next up is safari and as you can see here the newer devices are again basically just instantaneous with this application but with some of the older devices you can see there is that little delay and we're also going to load apple.com on all of these now definitely keep in mind that a web a browsing test largely depends on your internet connection, but as you can see here, the newer devices are just blazing fast with this test, while the older devices are noticeably slower. And this is something that I've personally noticed over the years. I mean, back in the days of early iPhone, like iOS 4, iOS 3, I remember sitting there and watching that blue bar load, waiting for a website to finish loading. And nowadays, it's vastly improved. And of course, again, it largely depends on the internet connection that you're using. However, web browsing speed is definitely an area that I've seen iPhones improve upon over the years. And next we're going to run a Geekbench test using the latest version of Geekbench on all the devices that support the latest version of Geekbench being the 5S and newer. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the benchmark and I'll come back to you guys with the numbers. And as you can see here, pretty much steady improvements from generation to generation as to be expected. And I must say it's pretty cool to see the progression of processing power in iPhones right in front of you. Of course, every generation does have that slight improvement, which over several years certainly adds up. And we're also going to run an Antutu benchmark using the latest version of Antutu, and I was able to get it working on the iPhone 5 and newer. And once again, same thing to report, just a steady progression from generation to generation in the numbers. But alright everybody, that just about wraps it up for this video. More of a trip down memory lane than anything else. Let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite iPhone is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.